Hey you guys, so let's do this tutorial. So I do have my bleaching powder, which is Salon Pro, and I do use the blue one because it's good for dark color hair. And I'm using some 40 volume developer because I do want the hair to process quickly, but also lightly. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. You just want to get it to the texture that you prefer. I don't like it too thick when it comes to just bleaching bundles. So I like it kind of runny. Um, as for closures or frontals, I make the batch kind of thicker so that way it doesn't seep through the lace. So it wasn't thin enough. So I went ahead and added some more 40 volume developer in this mixture. So make sure you have something laid down. I do have a plastic garbage bag. And I'm just going to take this hair from VST Hair. I do hope that's how you say it, or SVT Hair. Either way, I'll put the information down below for you guys, but they do have some really nice hair. Um, they did send me four bundles of their Brazilian Deep curly hair or deep wavy hair i do believe it's brazilian but i'll definitely link that below for you guys and they also sent me a closure i don't really wear closures too much because of my edges but you guys know just for this video i'm going to make it look as best as possible you want to make sure that you get all of the strands so it's important to either brush or comb through the hair so that way you make sure that you don't miss anything and as you guys see i'm just going to go ahead and comb through this hair and i'm just going to go back Back and forth with the combing and then I'm going to add some more bleach so like I said they did send me four bundles and I'm not going to show you guys me bleaching each bundle because it's just the same process and this hair does process very quickly as you guys see it is turning browner it's lightening up already so that's the one good thing about this hair I do like the way it processes I do have 50 volume developer but that will kind of like burn the hair you have to be very careful so I take my hair bundles and I put them in a plastic bag because the plastic does suffocate the hair um, sometimes I'll put it in aluminum foil but majority of the time it goes in plastic so that way it just kind of like processes it faster um, but I did learn this trick just by accident one day and it does it all the time to every single bundle. So as you guys see, you do see some smoke coming from it, but it makes the hair process super fast. If I didn't use the plastic bag with it, I would have had to bleach it a second time just to be able to get that color. So as you guys see the color right here, this is just from one bleach, okay? That's the reason why I use the um, actual plastic. Sometimes the colors will different, will be a little bit different from the other color, but you cannot leave it in the plastic for a very long time. The longest that I left it in the plastic was 15 minutes and that's the color that it turns. So you guys, that's by choice. You will lose some of your curls if you're getting something curly. So just be aware of that. Now I'm using some of the Weller Toner, which is in the color T18. Along with that, I'm using a 20 developer and I'm just using three bottles of the toner. And you wanna use two bottles to each you want to use well basically the mixture is two to one so you just pour one bottle of the toner in and then you can refill that twice with your actual developer if you don't know how to measure it out I just pour it back in a bottle so that way it comes out perfect and I just go ahead and saturate the hair you can either do the well toner while it's wet that's what it says on the directions but I like to do it while it's dry so I just go ahead and paint that on or brush it on thoroughly and I make sure to comb it through because I really don't want it to be brassy or anything like that and I leave the toner on for like 40 minutes to an hour so now it's time to style it I'm just going to show you a little bit here and there because this is a lot of hair this is like a lot of hair it's four bundles two 24s um 22 22 and a 20 inch closure so it's a lot of hair I let it dry and I'm just going to put like some spiral curls in it with my wand you don't really want to wand it too fast I did use this uh L'Oreal Paris foaming boost curl mousse in it but girl let me tell y'all it really didn't work out for me it kind of made the hair dry so you will see me in the video I do change up the style of the wig at a later date but it's all included in one video but I liked how it came out but you know it looks really pretty the colors look really nice and yeah you guys be the judge and let me know what you think about the color
What's up divas? So as you guys see, I did do a lot to this hair by SBT Hair. Like I really put it through the test. I bleached it. And when I put it in the plastic bag, it kind of like suffocates the hair. So that is the reason why you see like uh, the steam from it, you know what I mean? Because the, the plastic will suffocate it, but it will also process it really fast. And it'll process to like a, a level up versus like putting it in aluminum foil. So that is the reason why I did that. The hair actually is really good quality hair. Of course, the curls did drop because of how I did it. Um, and that was fine because you know, I could always just curl it back myself. I should have cut the ends on it because they are a little dry, but you know, I'm just going to deal with it for today's video. I did sew it on a spandex dome cap and I did put the combs as per usual. I did put four and that's about it because they did send me a closure. Two 24s, a 22, a 20 inch bundle. So I have four bundles in total and a 20 inch closure. And where I place these combs, I basically place them behind the ears. So there aren't any combs up in this area. They're all behind the ears. So that way, you know, your edges don't get snatched okay you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and finish styling this wig or just basically applying it this is a middle part closure um i like the middle part closures because you don't really have to do anything if you want to change to a left or a right you can just definitely go ahead and just move the wig over um as i said the product that i used in it which was the l'oreal it kind of made it dry so i had to be really careful when separating the curls because it got a little frizzy so i decided to put it on the right part and i'm just going to use some of my concealer and you guys know the baby hair swoopage and stuff like that i didn't want to make the video too long so i just decided to just speed through it that stuff that i just sprayed on my hair which was dark was my moldify which is kind of like fake hair it's hair filler fibers and it will blend your hair in and it will also help you if you have like thinning edges balding spots it's just like topic but i think it's a lot better than topic you know what i'm saying a whole lot better so as you guys see it's very full and just cute and very very full and it does look a lot shorter but i do like it somewhat but not so much now for one, I'm going to be honest, the stuff that I used in the hair when I was curling it was some L'Oreal Boost mousse type of deal. It's supposed to give you bouncy curls, but it actually made the curls frizzy. So that is the one product that kind of like ruined it for me. So it's a lot of hair, especially because it's wand curls. If it wasn't, if you know, if you wore it like in a kind of like a straight style, you know, like a couple of curls, then or looser curls, it would definitely um, not be so full. So you guys, as you see, I decided to do this part of the video over like a retry, you know, like rewind, um, only because I didn't really like the curls. Like when I looked at the picture, I just really didn't like the curls, the way the curls came out. So I just decided to just wipe the slate clean, you know what I'm saying? Like just rewash the wig, get those products out of the wig and just restyle a different way. So you guys, so I decided to wand curl it like this. And I think like you can really see the color a lot better when you wand curl it like this. So I'm gonna just put it on. We're gonna see how it looks this time. So this is the final, final look. And I went ahead and rewashed the entire wig just to remove some of the curls out of it. I did cut the closure into like a swoopage. And I actually think it looks a whole lot better in this style. You guys be the judge and let me know what you think. I actually do like it style a whole lot better like this and it's still the same you can wear it in the middle to the left to the right it just depends on your preference so I just decided to just put it to the left for today but I think it looks really suitable like this especially for the color but you know so as you guys see for this time around I did cut like you know like some little swoopage on the side so you can basically style however you want I swear I feel like I have like this really long head I mean I do but you know when you wear wigs for so long like if you wear like a lace front wig and then you used to it down here then when you take out your regular hair and you wear like a closure you feel like you got like the longest head ever i don't know about y'all but that's how i feel but anyway neither here nor there i did end up clipping the ends last night because it was a little dry um i just rewashed it and you know recurled it and i just wand curled it with like a one and a half inch barrel curler actually it was this size right here that i curled it with and you i'm not really into such a long long super long hair because this is really long for me 
I mean, like I used to love wearing this, um, this length hair, but not so much all the time. You know, it depends on the occasion if I'm going somewhere, but as an everyday length, I just couldn't do it anymore. I just, I just won't wear this length every single day. It has to be at least like right here. So I will post all the information below for you guys on SVT hair. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Um, me and my big forehead. Um, I love you guys. Let me know what you think about the difference in the styles. Which style do you guys like better? Did you like the curly? Do you like this one better? Let me know in your comments below. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I will see you guys in another video.